Hello, this is Preston Salmon with Home Inspection Carolina, and today we're going to talk about inspecting garage doors. Um, so I'm going to flip over here. Um, on this house, we have a double garage door here and a single here, three car garage total. Um, you know, we're going to go inside here in a second for a couple things we check for. One of the first things you know is we look for dents, uh, damage to the weather stripping either on the sides. I see that we have a uh, a yellow jacket or some sort of things nest there. Uh, they're not going to be happy when we open this one. A um, little bit of a uh, thing there with the weather stripping. Um, we're going to check all around. Check for looseness. Um, you know, and again, dents, that sort of thing. Um, we got loose weather stripping right there. That's going to be a write up. A little bit loose. Uh, got a little crack here. A um, couple other things. Got a dirt dauber nest there. Goodness um and a little small cracks in the weather stripping as well there um garage doors are extremely dangerous because well you know obviously the dents but getting people finger people get their fingers caught in there Twenty thousand people a year get injured on garage doors and usually it's because they get their fingers pinched up in there uh it's a lot of weight and it's under tension so uh it makes for dangerous uh situation so uh next we're going to go inside so following along the inside uh, a couple of things we're going to make sure all the rollers uh, look okay uh, we definitely want to uh, look at that uh, tension spring make sure that's not broken um, also every um, garage door should have a release uh, this is to release it from the garage door opener where you could do it manually um, you need this for safety also if the power goes out should have a red handle on it and should not be more than six feet up in the air um, so we've got one here that one releases uh, we've got one over there and that one releases as well um, let's get back over here for just a second uh, so we have the safety thing here we're also, again, checking both springs. This one has quite a uh, stronger spring because it's a double door. A little bit of tension there noticed on that. Uh, again, we're checking all the components, the uh, hinges. There's a lot of little moving parts on a garage door and a lot of things that uh, can go wrong. Um, I've actually checked this out ahead of time, so I don't want to hold you up <clears throat> for the entire video. Um, Another thing, there's a manual lock on some garage doors. There's not on this one, but usually it'll be right here and it'll be locked in. Um, you want to check, make sure that's not locked before you actually check the garage door itself. But again, you're looking for the safety um, release thing. Um, should be within six feet. Uh, I'm about six foot tall. It may be actually a little high. Uh, my wife would have trouble reaching it. Um, and we're going to check the garage doors here in just a second, but if you want to check all the springs, um, the pulleys, and um, all the rollers and hinges. Okay, so now we're going to test uh, each one of the garage doors, uh, watch them as they operate, make sure everything goes up and down correctly. Looks okay, looks okay. A little bit noisy could use a little bit of lubrication I think um, so now we're going to check the auto reverse so what should happen is as we push it down let's see let's do the other one over there we should be able without much tension at all to cause it to stop or to go into reverse this one oh it needs to be adjusted see it just kept on coming down even after I held it should be just a little bit of tension should cause it to go into auto reverse. There's actually an adjustment um, on the um, garage door itself. It's a screw that you can adjust the downward tension. Um, if you look up there, let me zoom in, just to the right of the light bulb, we can adjust that downward tension. And we wanna adjust it to where just a little bit of tension will cause it to stop and go into auto reverse. Uh, one other thing that I want to note is you should be able to push the uh, the downward and then be able to walk away from it. Uh, on the single door, you can't do that right now. You have to hold it. So more than likely, these little uh, eyes, electronic eyes, 
are out of line. If they're out of line or broken, you have to hold to override it. See, like right now it's coming down and holding it, but the second I stop, it goes into auto reverse. That shouldn't happen. Uh, it's usually because these little eyes are out of line or are malfunctioning some way. So, uh, in closing, you should be able to push that and walk away from it. It should go down unless it meets resistance, it should come back. Sometimes in the middle of the day, on a really sunny day, uh, it can interfere with these eyes. But uh, yeah, definitely a couple of write-ups on these garage doors. We've got a weather stripping issue. Um, we've got a reverse tension. We need to write up on that garage door. And this one, um, the eyes um, need to be adjusted uh, because it's, uh, you're having to override it. Um, but nothing super major. Uh, and again, those weather stripping items but uh, all fixable, but definitely some write-ups. Hope that's been helpful, uh, garage door inspection tips. If you have any other uh, home inspection questions, please contact Home Inspection Carolina at uh, homeinspectioncarolina.com. Thanks.